Hello everybody, it's a Savage Stacker. So yesterday I had to sell some silver in order to pay my bills because I got robbed. So I've been on disability for a few months now after a long, long fire season last year. And uh, you know, I beat myself up pretty good. It was close to five months straight without a day off. And then I took a few days off and then, then rode out for another two months, you know, no days off. And uh, I worked my ass off. And, uh, but I was in pain the whole time. I had blown out like four discs in my neck, two in my lower back, and uh, I needed to get a major, couple major surgeries done. Well, I didn't get the surgeries done because you know there's some other problems, some things that happened and I needed to take care of before I can get these surgeries done and uh, other medical issues. So I, I didn't do it. So I'm getting ready to go back to work here in a couple days. And, uh, but I'm still on disability. So I've been getting a, uh, you know, a, uh, a certain amount of money each month, um, you know, kind of a, you know, uh, limited income. And I'm not used to that, you know, working on these fires, I, I do pretty good. And uh, I saved quite a bit of money. That's how I was able to buy metals, you know, the last few months. Um, but that's all, you know, most of my money is in metals. Well. If you got, if you live in California, you get this card right here. I'm gonna try to hide this thing. You get this card right here, right? So if you get this card, it doesn't have a chip in it. You know, it just has a, a, a just a slide like a regular card. Well, if you get that card right there, there's been a lot of scams lately with people getting these cards and and pilling people. And I went to a jewelry store the other day to get a clasp for my necklace, and they wouldn't accept this card because apparently, I guess somebody has um has a uh, been uh, scamming people on these cards, and I guess they've taken over $2 million worth of money over the last year. Um, you know, this is the card you get when you're, on, when you're on unemployment or on disability. Well, they wouldn't take it because I heard that, you know, they said that there's a bunch, been a millions of dollars worth of scams on these cards. I said, shit, okay, um, here you go, take cash. So I paid them in cash. Well, I didn't think I was going to fall victim to it. And I hate that word because I never consider myself a victim. But yesterday morning, I went down to go pull out my money out of the bank, which I always do with this card because I know it's not as secure as a regular card. And uh, and, and I got paid, let's see here, on Friday. I bought that 10-ounce bar that I said I shouldn't have bought. And now I know why. Because <laughs> uh, just in case something happens, I should have bought all. I should have spent the whole thing on it. I wouldn't have lost it. Well... I went to go pull the money out yesterday for rent, which is coming up in a couple days. And uh, boom, it said inefficient funds. I'm like, well, it should be like 1,700 bucks in there. So I take it out, put it in again, and get my, my uh, uh, um, you know, see how much I got in there and uh, my balance. And boom, I only have $18.34 in there. I'm like, are you been kidding me? So. I got on the phone immediately and I ended up being on the phone with these people for two hours yesterday. And now they're asking me fucked up questions like, uh, um, you know, do you know anybody that could have took in your car? I said, hell no, dude, my car goes nowhere. No one has access to it, nothing. And they're like, would you be willing to prosecute? I'm like, dude, they stole money out of my kid's mouth and now I can't, you know, pay my rent. So yeah, I, of course I will, which normally I wouldn't. Um, I'm not that type of person, but, uh, um, hey, that's my kid's livelihood. So yeah, I told them, hell yeah. And, uh, and they're like, well, we need to send you fraud uh, paperwork. Are you willing to fill that out? I said, absolutely. Well, you know that this fraud paperwork perjury, it perjurizes you if you get caught. I'm all, look at, I didn't do nothing. I just had all my money stolen. And now I'm trying to figure out how to pay rent. So uh, it'd be really great if you didn't sit there and assume that uh, there's something fraudulent going on here. All right, what's going on that's fraudulent is somebody just stole my fucking uh, numbers made a card had a card made and just wiped me out that's what sucks and i'm on a limited income on disability and uh so <laughs> how when am i going to get my money back is what i want to know and uh, they said well we got to do an investigation that could take up to 90 days and plus the 10 days we have to get you all the stuff to you to fill out so it could take up to 100 days i'm like son of a bitch dude now if this would have happened to my bank card or my credit card they would have given me the money back right then and there but because it's this disability stuff, right? So I looked up, I looked it up. I looked up these cards and uh, looked up 
all the stuff that's going on with them. And sure enough, there is a lot of fraudulent stuff going on with these cards. They don't have the lock on them like the uh, like a credit card or a debit card. These things are uh, easily, easily, uh, you know, if you know what you're doing, you know, fours or all that, which is messed up. So if there's any of you out there that are watching this and buying metals, stealing people's money, you're a coward. You are a coward. I would have rather somebody came up to me with a knife at my neck and said, give me your money. I would have been like, cool, right on. At least they had the balls to come up to me. But if you're out there stealing this stuff, you're a coward. That's a coward move. Go out and make your own money. Go make real money. Like it might make you feel good. Go fight a fire and see what you feel like after you do seven months of 18 hour days. So basically I have $18 left in my name. So I have a little bit of money saved up, but it's, uh, you know, a few months worth of uh, bill money, really. My car payment, house, uh, and uh, not even including food, you know, that's storage, uh, house, and car. So I'm going back to work here in a week, and uh, it's going to take me two or three weeks just to get a full paycheck. So I'm going to be behind on funds big time. So uh, basically... All the uh, money I had to be able to send out all my packages for my giveaway was on this on this card. And normally I take all the money out of there. I usually take all the money out of there within the first couple days. And I just got super busy with the kids. I had a, a graduation party thing I was hosting over the weekend. And I had my giveaway stuff. And then I've been back, you know, trying to deal with my, my, my children's graduation stuff this week. And uh, so I didn't have time to run down there to the bank. And... Uh, so I ended up, uh, ended up getting robbed. So if any of you out there are on disability or unemployment, like my suggestion to you is take all your money out of that account and put it in your regular account or sit on the cash because chances are they got your number and they're just waiting to get it. Now, I'm pretty sure because I keep getting these uh, these letters from uh, bullion companies saying that, you know, uh, our system has been breached and, uh, you know, your card could be at risk. And uh, I've already changed this card three times in two years, right? Not just this card, but I mean, the uh, since November, I've changed it twice. And my other cards I've changed a couple of times. So in the last two years, I've had to change all my cards like, like three times because of the bullion companies are getting hacked into and they're stealing our numbers. Right, the first one was JM Bullion and uh, and Provident Metals, and then the next one, what was it? Last last month, I got another one from another company. Um, I don't remember what company it was. Could have been like SD or Monument Metals or what, one of those. Um, and uh, they sent me a thing saying, "Yeah, if you've bought anything from us, you might want to get a new card because they have your numbers." So I did. And uh, well, I just the only thing I bought off this card in the Bullion. You know, realm is uh, off the of United States Mint and um, Scottsdale Bullion, Scottsdale Mint. And that's the only two places I bought bullion with this card. And that was in the last week. Friday, I bought that 10-ounce bar and a little bit of gold. And then uh, and then when uh, when that new coin came out from the U.S. Mint, the, uh, the CC, the uh, Morgan, um, I bought that. I bought, I bought one of those. So it is possible... They're watching or hacking through the U.S. Mint or through Scottsdale Mint's uh, website and getting your number. So if you have this card, I would shut it down immediately and get another one sent to you. Now, you don't have to pay the fee right now because of the, you know, the CV going on. So they'll send it to you within three days for free. It usually costs 15 bucks, but it's for free that right now. Uh, they waive that fee. Um, so you can get a new car within three days. You won't be, you know, you just could take all your money out real quick, right? So you ain't got to worry about it. Got a couple weeks until you get enough, some more money on there and uh, take it out and then call them, shut it down, have them send you a new card. Uh, I would do that and then I would not buy any more precious metals using this card because I believe that's how I got hacked. And because uh, uh, I keep getting all these all these newsletters or these letters from Boeing companies saying that their system's been hacked into so basically, uh, I got to figure out a get way to get some funds to get all these prizes sent out. Um, yeah, they got me for fifteen hundred bucks. They got me for a thousand dollars the first day, which was not yesterday, the day before yesterday, like a, around right before midnight. And then uh, eight o'clock in the morning yesterday, I made a purchase, um, 
and uh, bought me a breakfast burrito, went to the beach, ate it, and uh, drove back home, which took me about 15 minutes. And by the time I got there, went to the bank to go pull out all the money, um, it was gone. So in that time, and, and there's no way it could have been me because uh, this was, uh, actually it was in San Jose where it happened, so it was actually fairly close. Usually it's like across the world somewhere. But this was in San Jose, which is, you know, 35, 40 minutes away from where I'm at. But I had just used my card, you know, 20 minutes prior to that. And so there's no way I could have did it because that was two different places at once. Um, it's impossible. So uh, and I told him, I said, look, it, instead of having all this fraudulent uh, conversation right now, why don't you, since it, they pulled the money out of Bank of America, why don't you go down and look at the footage from the ATM at that Bank of America? That was should clear it up immediately right there. And uh, so not only do I have to sit here and uh, be ripped off, but uh, now I got to have these people at Bank of America, um, you know, questioning me, which is absolute absurd it's like why don't you just stick the knife in a little deeper type deal so i'll get your guys's packages out i do apologize this is kind of out of my control and um i had to go buy i had to go down and sell some silver to get some money you know that's uh that's just the way it is i kind of lean myself out on cash and uh so i had to go down and then uh and I got my, my car payment and my, my, my rent's due uh, here in a couple of days. And so I had to go like, sell like this much, right, right there, like 70 ounces to go get some, uh, some cash so I can take care of all my business. It's kind of messed up, but it is what it is. That's why we do this. We can, you know, what these turd bags don't know is that us stackers, we got a little bit of stuff in the cuts, and that's why physical is so important. Just think about that, the digital dollar, and think about all that Bitcoin, and think about all that, uh, you know, banks and, uh, and, and credit cards and all that stuff. That stuff could all be hacked, and we're getting ready to go to the digital dollar, which is absolutely bullshit, because all that stuff could get hacked. Like, we could be losing all of our money. I'm losing my voice right now. All right, thank you for everybody for coming by. I truly appreciate it. Um, yeah, I had to sell some silver to go uh, pay some bills, which sucks, you know, but um, that's why we do this. We got a little bit of extra cash on hand and uh, silver's up right now, so I didn't lose and I actually got over spot, so that's cool. Thank you all for coming by. It's a Savage Stacker. Hit that bell icon so you get updated on my latest videos. Please rate, comment, and subscribe. The Savage Stacker is over and out. Beautiful, beautiful. I love these bars right here. My voice is gone, man. My voice is gone. All right, take care, everybody. Later.